Hey, Summerhill Cinema 700 here, coming at you with my Blu-ray update of October 2020, and also, of course, wanting to wish all of you a very happy Halloween. Um, let me know how you're going to be spending your Halloween. I've mentioned this before, uh, on, on Halloween evening, uh, what I usually do, uh, Halloween night, is I, I spend the night in a, in a cemetery, um, doing a volunteer job, just to keep people out from vandalizing it. This will be my uh, sixth year in a row doing it. And it's always a good time. Um, tonight's supposed to be a full moon, too. And it's also a uh, Saturday night. So it could be crazy. Maybe not with everything going on in the world, but maybe that'll make it even crazier. We'll see. Um, so that's how I'll be spending my Halloween. Let me know how you're going to be spending uh, yours. And um, we'll do the Blu-ray update uh, here. And then uh, I'll also go through quickly... Uh, what I watched this Halloween season. All right. All right. So before we get into the Blu-ray update, actually, let's just do this right now. We'll go on, we'll go over quickly the uh, movies I watched this Halloween season. I watched Halloween uh, one, all the way through H two O. I think I started out with four five, and then I watched three, and then the Curse, and then H two O, and then I think the first one I watched the other day. So I didn't watch them in, in uh, proper order, but. That's just how it is. I always make sure that I at least watch Halloween, the original, and Halloween 3. Those are like must-watches during the Halloween season. Of course, I love Halloween 2, but if I don't get a, if I don't have time, I just watch 1 and 3 because they're like the quintessential Halloween movies in my opinion. Like not in the, sh in, the, in, the, in the series, but just to watch during the Halloween season. So watch the Halloween films from the original all the way up to H2O. I watched Puppet Master 4. I uh, watched the original My Bloody Valentine for the first time with the Scream Factory Blu-ray, which I will be doing a review uh, soon here. Uh, I watched Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the Arrow Video Blu-ray, which was really great. First time watching the Arrow Video version of that, and it looked fantastic. Then I also watched uh, not a non-horror movie, Face to Face, which is a great spaghetti western. Um, I think it's a Sergio Salima one. And uh, then I watched The Conjuring, which I had watched for the first time, which I just did a review on uh, just the other day. So that's what I watched this Halloween season. So let me know what you watched, which movies you watched this Halloween season. But anyways, on to the uh, Blu-ray uh, update and DVD of uh, October 2020 special Halloween edition. And uh, what better way to kick that off than with uh, this double feature DVD pack here of Halloween 2 and 3. Now I have these both on Blu-ray. Um, and But I, when I saw this, you know, with this cool glow-in-the-dark slipcover, I had to get it. It was only like 8 bucks at Walmart. It's just this standard... Uh, DVD from the past, um, but it's, I'm, I'm happy to have these, you know, I don't double dip a lot, but I will on the Halloween films, and I will on Friday the 13th, but this cool uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, slipcover, it's kind of dumb though, they put this glow-in-the-dark sticker on here, but you can't really take it off, or else it peels the paint away, which is stupid, but Michael Myers' face, glows in the dark, not that well, but it's just a cool slipcover, there's the back, I like the green, too. It's kind of silver shamrock vibe going on there. So Halloween 2 and 3, double feature DVD with glow-in-the-dark slip cover. Next up, we have, uh, not all these are going to be horror movies. We have a uh, collector's edition from uh, Shout Factory. This is a part of their Shout Select line. This is To Live and Die in L.A. Classic action film. With a soundtrack from one of my favorite uh, new wave bands, Wang Chung. And this one actually has an uh, uh, interview with, uh, with both of the members. Jack Hughes and uh, what was it the other one's name? Uh, Nick Feldman. Very cool. Great action film, though. And I think this one's out of print now, but I, f I just happened to stumble across a copy on Amazon. And I want, I'd wanted to pick this, this release up for a couple of years now and just kind of got around to doing it. And then you know what ends up happening is they go out of print and it's hard to find. So luck, luckily for me, I got a copy. So that's To Live and Die in L.A. Uh, from the same director, I believe, who did uh, this film here, The uh, French Connection, another absolute classic action flick. This one's an early 70s flick. The other one's a mid-80s um, this one comes with, oh, and also, again, besides the interview with Wang Chung, comes with a lot of other great new special features on that To Live and Die in L.A., but with this uh, this one here from the Filmmaker's Signature Series, uh, 
you get uh, quite a lot of special features as well. Commentary with the director, commentary with Gene Hackman, isolated score track, trivia track, deleted scenes, optional audio commentary with the, another one of the director. Uh, there's tons of special features. Making the making of the film. It's all there if you want to read that. But yeah, happy to finally have this one on Blu-ray. They had a double pack too with the second one on DVD, but I wanted to get it on Blu-ray, so. Um, next up, classic, classic sword and sorcery film, and or just fantasy film, uh, Excalibur. I haven't watched this one in like over 15 years since I was a little kid. And uh, very looking forward to uh, watching this one again. Great flick. Very long movie, too. I think it's over two and a half hours, but King Arthur. Best King Arthur movie, in my opinion. Great film. Liam Neeson. A lot of, a lot of big cast in this one. So that's Excalibur. All right, next up, we have... Uh, this one is actually co-written by uh, John Carpenter. I don't know who actually directed it. But uh, this is uh, Black Moon Rising, it's called. And it has Linda Hamilton and Tommy Lee Jones in it. And it's like this crazy, it's almost like a sci-fi type of horror film, it looks like. This really weird car they're driving around in. So, uh, looked right up my alley. And this one's from the uh, Kino Lorber uh, Studio Classics line. And it has a lot of special features, too. Some of the Kino releases don't have a lot of special features. This one does. Um, you get the making of, you get a video essay, there's some stuff with John Carpenter here, audio commentaries, uh, looks like there's a making of, interview with like sound effects, special guy, tons of commentaries, uh, yeah, lots of special features there on this one here, that's Black Moon Rising, looking forward to checking that one out. Next up, this is another uh, action film, didn't know much about it till I found out about this release from, uh, I think it's from Scorpion Releasing. Uh, it's called The Omega Syndrome. And it's uh, it looks like it's about these... Uh, this, uh, this group of uh, neo-Nazi terrorists or something. They abduct this guy's daughter or something. And he goes after them. Something like that. But it stars Ken Wall, who I'm a fairly big fan of. I like his films. He was in The Wanderers. Uh, he was in uh, The Soldier, the, the Michael Glickenhaus, or James Glickenhaus film, uh, as well as uh, Ford Apache, The Bronx. So it was pretty cheap on Amazon. So that's The Omega Syndrome. Don't know much about that, but that's pretty cool artwork. So stay tuned for a review of that uh, in the near future. And again, this one's from uh, Scorpion Releasing here. And it's a brand new 2019 2K scan of the original negative. All right, two uh, horror films that I've wanted to see for a while. When these ones arrived in the mail, too, the mailman had stuffed these in the mailbox. And it's, we have a really small mailbox, and they broke in half the cases. Luckily, I was able to save them, put them in different cases, and the artwork isn't too damaged or anything. The discs were fine, but the first one is the uh, the island here, which is kind of like an adventure fantasy film mixed with a slasher. Like, there's some like sl weird slasher kills. I've only watched bits and pieces of this, but this is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack from Scream Factory. And, uh, yeah, I want, have wanted to get this one for quite a while. Super cool artwork, too, on this one. And uh, it doesn't look like you get any special features with this one, but you get the film itself and, again, a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. So don't know a lot about this, but stay tuned for a review of this one as well, either this late this year or early next year. So that's The Island from Scream Factory. Next up, this one's out of print. It's been out of print, I think, for a while. And that's The, uh, the Town That Dreaded Sundown, the original. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack as well from Scream Factory. I think it also features another film on here called The Evictors, which is a bonus feature. It comes with another film, The Evictors, um, on a separate disc. So you get The Town That Dreaded Sundown there, and then on the DVD you get The, the Evictors. I wasn't going to open this for a while because it's out of print, but the case was broken. So like I said, I swapped it out. You get audio commentary with a film historian. You get some interviews, theatrical trailer, poster, still gallery. But really looking forward to checking this one out. Never seen it. Never seen the original. Never seen the remake either, but... This looks like the one to go with, so I'm really looking forward to checking out that. The Town That Dreaded Sundown. All right, last but not least, we got a little stack here from uh, Grindhouse Video, which is a uh, movie store uh, over in Tampa, Florida. And I ordered these way back in, like, early June, but because they had some, like, lockdown order there, they couldn't ship stuff out. I had to, I just got these, like, less than a week ago. 
Um, so first up, we have a film by uh, Sergio Corbucci. This is a great spaghetti western. This is uh, Campaneros. And um, it has, uh, what's his name, Thomas Millian, Franco Nero, Jack Palance, Plants, and yeah, Corbucci, who's one of the greatest spaghetti western directors. Uh, this is an awesome one. I watched this for the first time this year, actually, earlier in the year. But this is a great one. So, and they, so, they, so what it was was Grindhouse, Grindhouse Video Tampa. They had a, a uh, and usually I don't order from the states because I live in Canada. So it's, but they had a sale on Blue Underground titles for a really good deal. So I got uh, these ones. So that's the first one, Campaneros. Next up, we have uh, Maniac Cop Two, which I was a, a, a fairly big fan of the first one. I got the uh, Arrow video release because it was region free. But this is Maniac Cop 2, and it's a Blu-ray DVD combo. You get uh, quite a few special features. And I also got Maniac Cop 3, Badge of Silence. Um, also Blu-ray DVD, Blu DVD combo pack from Blue Underground. There's some special features there. Looking forward to checking these out. So Maniac Cop 2 and 3. Stay tuned for reviews of those as well. Near future. Next up we have uh, this one, Shockwaves, which I've wanted to check out for quite a while. And... Uh, it has a really cool soundtrack. I've listened to some of the soundtrack, but I haven't seen the film. It's about like these like Nazi soldiers that come out from the ocean. <sighs> Crazy shit. Shockwaves. Looking forward to checking that out for sure. Stay tuned. Again, most of these I'm going to be doing a review of in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Last but not least, this is a double feature here. Two Italian films by uh, director Bruno Mattei. We have uh, Hell of the Living Dead and Rats, Night of Terror, which is the one I really wanted to watch. Uh, they both look good, though. And uh, yeah, it's a double feature. I don't know if it's a two disc set or a one disc set, but uh, we get two Italian uh, horror films here. Looking very forward to checking both of these out. And also, stay tuned. Uh, soon I'll be doing uh, my entire Italian horror collection as well as uh, post apocalyptic and action films. So stay tuned for that. In November, I'm going to be doing uh, my Italian collection. I know my uh, 80s slasher collection video got a lot of views, a lot of people like that. And even the other uh, videos that I do about my collections, like the Steven Seagal collection. And the Spaghetti Western collection were popular videos, so I thought I'd do one of my Italian collection. So stay tuned for that. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you all have a very safe and happy Halloween. Let me know uh, how you're going to be spending your Halloween this year. And uh, also let me know what films you watched this Halloween season. Look forward to hearing about that. And let me know what you think of these releases, too. Have you got any yourself? Uh, what ones do you like? Uh, so yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Happy Halloween, everybody.